welcome to the Angles Experience. Today I'm fishing with my good friend John Mambacino, Pro Fish Taxidermy. And believe it or not, it's the middle of November and we had a notion to go smallmouth fishing. Now keep in mind, John and I live in the Pacific Northwest. Being the middle of November, we woke up this morning, it's about 27 degrees, big thick layer of frost on the boat. I don't know what we're thinking, but I think we're gonna go out and try to catch some smallies. John and I are gonna throw everything from two baits, we're gonna jig blade baits, we might possibly even troll. So you folks stay tuned, John thinks we're nuts, I think we're a little crazy too, but hey, let's see what happens. Angler's Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. Setter Rod, the American way. Sidewinder Planer Boards, fight the fish, not the board. Tobla Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Easy Loader, all boat trailers are not created equal. Oxart, your single source supplier. Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. And Honda Marine, it's all about power. Oh yeah, nice fat fish. There's a girth on that one, John. Look at that one, folks. Keep him down in the water here. Ready, John? Yeah. All right. Boy, look at the belly on that one, folks. That fish been eating? That is a toad. Vibey blade bait right there, folks. Look at the belly on that fish. Absolutely incredible. Late fall smallmouth. It's the middle of September right now. Our water temperature's around 52 degrees. And these guys are stocking up for winter. Got that wrapped around. Don't want to hurt him here if I can help it. What an absolute pig. Folks, that fish isn't very long right there. That fish will go probably two and three quarter, almost three pounds. Look at that belly. Absolutely incredible. That fish, huh, John? Yeah, that beautiful fish. Awesome. Too. Colors in it. Man, that's a beauty. Look at that. Back is thinner than the belly. <laughs> Amazing false molly right there, guys. All right, let's throw that fish back in the water. We'll see if we can get another one. Well, folks, as you can see, John and I are now on the back of the boat. We're going to be doing some trolling. We fished real hard this morning for about a couple hours, two, two and a half hours, fishing points and flats. Ran to a few small fish, caught some fish drop shot and caught some with a blade bait. Tried some crank and just really couldn't produce anything to show you folks at home. So the backup plan, if this was to happen, we wanted to troll. And the water's around 52 degrees right now. Air temperature's around 38 degrees. And what we're hoping to do, we're marking a lot of fish off of these points where these kokanee are schooling. And the problem with the presentations that we're using by casting is we can't keep the bait in the strike zone for a long period of time with, say, a crankbait. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down through these same points where we've marked fish, and John and I are going to troll. And we're going to be trolling Rapala tail dancers. they got a diving depth of around 20 to 22 feet. And we're just going to try to beat these baits off those points as we cross across them. And hopefully we can keep these cranks in the strike zone by trolling. And hopefully we'll pick up some big fish. So let's see what happens. Look at how thick that fish is. Got him, John? Yeah. Wow. Look at the girth on that fish, folks. Absolutely amazing. Trolling that Rapala tail dancer right across the top of those points right there behind us. We just come across that point. I was digging down to the bottom about 18 feet, pulled it off into the open water. And as soon as she came off that 
point, bam, that fish took it. Hit it good too, head first. Just an aggressive fish. Folks, the water right now is 52 and a half degrees. You can still pick these fish up. Nobody's out here bass fishing. They're all at home for the winter. And these fish are still out here biting. What a beautiful red eye on that fish. Isn't that beautiful, yeah, John? Really red. Yeah. What a beauty. Cool. Thick, thick fish, guys. Little football. Probably go about probably three, three and a half pounds and probably only oh 17 inches long or so. Nice and fat, getting ready for winter. All right, let's throw that fish back. You getting him now? Feeling so? Oh yeah. They putting up some fight. They don't battle quite as hard as they do in the summer, but that's to be expected when the water's that cold, you know. Oh yeah, he's out there. Good fish, John. Good fish. Good fish, John. Nice thick one. Oh yeah, there's one that's just going to guys. Look at that one. Got him, John! Nice fish, buddy. Shoulders. <laughs> 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 there is a late fall tank for you. That Rapala tail dancer. Folks are probably wondering why I'm running this net like this, and it's a little bit oversized, obviously. But what it is, it's a Loki net, and it's an actual catch and release net. There's no knots in this net. It doesn't remove the slime. Just so you don't wonder, why is Seth using such a big net? That's why. It's an actual catch and release net. Will not hurt those fish, and I don't want to hurt a fish like that. Look at that, got that tail dancer right there in the mouth. Looks like he might have grabbed it with a few weeds. Yeah, it looks like it, digging down there in the bottom. He came over that point. Yep, definitely. You can see the coloration there, folks. See how light that bass is? He's pretty light colored. And what's happening, they're, they're in deep water, and their pigment works somewhat like ours. When we don't get a lot of sunlight, if we have sunlight, we get a tan. It's the same way with the bass. When, they have, when they're up in the shallows of the sunlight, they get that real dark color. If they're up in the weeds, they'll get that dark color. But these fish are deep. That's why they're pretty pale like that. Deep water bass. Look at that belly. Yeah, you That's a beauty. Let's put that fish on the boga grip, John. You got it, John. Looks like we got four pounds even. Can you believe that, folks? Four pounder, and that fish is not that long. No. I, can, I mean, I've said it a hundred times if I've said it once, but I cannot get over how fat that fish is. All these fish, for that matter. Yeah. What a beauty, John. Good job, buddy. Good. Let's get him back in. Yep. Don't want to hurt that big guy. Nice fish, Johnny. There he goes. There he goes. Awesome. Well, he's headed straight down. Isn't yep. He? Get back down to that dark home. Yeah. Smally. It's a smally. He's gonna jump. He's trying to jump. It's so cold. Oh! oh that's a good ball. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to jump, and it's so cold he can't do it. <laughs> Oh god, look at that fish guys. Ooh! They are oh! Oh well. Oh, that's how it goes, folks. <laughs> that got the blood flowing though, oh, I tell you man. what. You wouldn't yeah. ever think about coming out and trolling for smallmouth bass in this kind of temperature. John was even commenting that he thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> we started out today casting cranks. We used blade baits slabbing spoons, you name it. And I finally said, you know what? We've got to try trolling. This reservoir is full of kokanee and the few smallies that we caught, you know, for a short fish of 15, 16 inches, they're just bloated. They're two and a half, three pounds. And I told them, you know, these fish have got to be feeding on kokanee. So what we did, we pulled out off of the bank, trolling, trolling across the top of these points. And as you saw right there, I mean, we can't get lucky and land them all, but that was probably a four, four and a half pounder. You can do it, folks. I'm telling you, you just gotta get off the couch. Even though it's cold, these fish have to eat. And uh, we've had stable weather. We had a storm move through last night, late last night, but it wasn't a real drastic pressure change. We had a partly cloudy, clear skies today. And as you see, they're biting. So let's see if we can get another one. Big fish, big fish, guys. Not moving, now he's coming. Coming in now. I don't know if he's being deceptive to me or what. Oh, he's loading up. Oh, head shakes. Big head shake, guys. Big, big head shake. Okay. 
Yeah, he's coming in now. I don't know if he's faking me out or hard to tell. They're pretty lethargic right now. Coming up out to our left. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. Big one, guys. Oh. Okay, easy. Swing, swing game, John. Oh. <laughs> Look at that fish, folks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at the girth on this fish, folks. Oh my. <laughs> This fish has got to go on the boga grip. Look at that, folks. Look at that tail dancer in that fish's mouth. That is an absolute hog up here eating kokanee in 52 degree water. We're trolling two to two and a half miles an hour. Believe it, folks, because it's a real deal. Look at that fish. Holy smokes. Look at that, folks. That's how you can tell they're aggressive. See that head hook is right here in his mouth. That means he hit head first, and that's how you can tell they're aggressive. If that back hook was up in his mouth he's just nipping at it so what we're doing we're noticing this that fish is aggressive he hit that bait head first what an absolute toad you guys let's get this fish on the boga grip get the hook out i don't want to hurt a big fish like this guys thank you rapala tail dancer see how much that fish weighs that fish gotta be close to five pounds guys Folks, that's the biggest smallmouth I think I have ever caught. A little over five and a half pounds. Five and a half pounder, guys. Is that not a that, toe, Johnny? That's fantastic fish. <laughs> All right, let's get a couple stills of this fish, and we're gonna put it back so you folks can catch it later. Thank you, buddy. Oh my gosh. Woo I tell you what, folks, this is awesome. Let's go get one more. Folks, one of the things that John and I are doing is we're going across these points, just like this point right here. As we're coming across and we're feeling that plug diving down into the bottom and beating off the rocks and stumps and bottom that we have here, we'll just kind of pull it forward and then pause it back. And what that's doing is just changing up that speed because a lot of times what's happening, these smallmouth will be following that lure and you pull it forward and pause it and it starts to come back at them and that's when they strike it. Now you can do that with S turns if you were trolling out in the open water, but what we're trying to do is contour troll these points so you can't really do S turns here because you're gonna pull your lure away from the structure where it needs to be. So if you're not into pulling the rod and maybe you're one of those people that really likes to work it, you don't wanna work it too much. Just pull it forward every now and then as you come across those points and then stall it backwards. The other thing that you can do, we're trolling along at about two miles an hour, we'll come across and we'll be beating across the top of those points, then I'll just cut the motor down to nothing and that slows that plug down just enough that that small is basically falling it and when you slow it down he's going to run right into it and strike it so always make sure when you're doing this either whether you're trolling for walleyes or you're trolling for the smallmouth like this make sure and impart some type of action to that plug whether it's by pulling it or by cutting the motor down and, and drifting real slow just make sure to change it up that's what's going to trigger those strikes Good fish. That's a nice fat one, John. Right there. Man, that's a beauty, John. Boy, he's been eating it. Yes, he? he has. Oh. Tanker. You get it, bud? I'm getting it. That fish just absolutely just was swimming with it. Yes. Incredible. He picked it up and came right at me. A pair of pliers, bud? Yeah, I think we're going to need it. We don't want to hurt his jaw there. Maybe you can get a little slack on it so we don't tear his jaw. He kind of needs that for the rest of his life there. Yeah, that's for sure. Four pounds. Four pounds yep, even, four huh? pounds, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute beauty. What a beautiful fish. Oh, Look at the turquoise and stuff. Through. Uh -huh. Isn't that just gorgeous? The gold yep. tipping on the scale. Yep, being a taxidermist, you know all about them. Yeah, I see that. That's what we're trying to replicate yep. all the and time. And you do a dang good job, let <laughs> well, me tell you that. You. Thank you. Look at the difference in the color of the eye of that fish. Isn't yeah, it? Isn't real it dark. Dark, yep. dark, almost a brown on yep. this. And the other ones have been bright red. Okay. All we'll right, get let's get that in. fish back. All right. Starting to head shake here. There he is. There he is. 
Oh, he's, he's hooked in yeah, the side. That's hooked what in the he side. Is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he fooled it. Swing him over here, John. He fooled it. See what happened there, folks? Wow. Let me show you what happened. That fish was pulling line like crazy. Get him up here without hurting him. He come up, hit it, and the back hook swung around, and John was pulling him in sideways. We thought that fish was a lot bigger, but even at that, it's still an aggressive smallmouth. And I want to fix something. I think I said earlier, September, folks, we're actually out here middle of November, and all the excitement of that last fish, John said, I think you said September, and I think he's right. It's actually November. November 16th, to be exact. All right, let's throw that fish back in the water, see if we can get another one. All right, thanks, little buddy. Oh, oh that's a big one, John. <laughs> That's a big one, John. It's a toad, buddy. It's a toad, John. John, John, that's a big one, buddy. Big one, Johnny. Look at that toad. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Keep his head down. Oh, John, it's a sow. It is an absolute beast, Johnny. Fuck it, John. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh, that is nice. oh, oh nice. man, this is a toe, Johnny. Look at that, that tail dancer. Look at that, folks. Oh man, what a beast. What an absolute beast. Oh man. Get this hook out for you, John. Absolute beast, John. Look at yep. that fish. That is what we come up here Let's for. Let's throw that fish on the boga grip, bud, okay. see what he's weighing. Five, five and a half pounds, five John. And half pounds. <laughs> five and a half pounder, buddy. Is that, that not something? That is something. That Folks, is that is an amazing fish. In 52 degree water, trolling two to two and a half miles an hour across points in the cold of the late, late fall. Absolute beauty. Let's get some still pictures of that fish and let's throw it back. Okay. All right, Johnny, okay. let's get that fish back All in the right, water, buddy. Awesome. All right, Johnny. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Awesome. This is incredible, isn't it? It's incredible fishing. Everybody's yeah. put the boats away for the winter. Right. They're still out here, buddy. You know, we kind of felt crazy driving out here with ice all oh, over yeah. everything, freezing to death. We're all huddled together. It's <laughs> paying off. right up when yep. you start bringing in five and a half That's pounds. right. Small Heck now. yeah. Let's see if we can't get some more. Yeah. Yeah, let's get the net, John. I don't okay. think he's a I don't think he's a beast, but I tell you what, we'll take them. They're all good. You bet. Oh, he ain't a bad fish. Nice fat one. There we go. Keep those hooks out of there. Yep. Nice chunky fish. Yeah. There we go. Got him. There we go, folks. Look at that fish sitting in my hand. Is that not incredible? Jeez, it's absolute tanks. Just huge. They don't know when to quit eating. No so. kidding. I'm just glad we decided to start trolling. Yeah. It'd have been yeah. a pretty slow day if we hadn't started it trolling. Would've. All right, little tubby, let's put you back in the water. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Well, folks, we're just about out of light. We just hooked this fish up. We decided to stay out just a little bit longer. We got something here. I don't know how big it is. You see him planting out the side, guys? I don't know how big he is, folks. He jumped once back there, but light so low, I couldn't really tell how big he was. I'm trying to keep his head down here. Oh, he's staying down good, guys. Make sure the drag's good. I don't know if you folks at home are going to be able to see this fish or not, but. We'll see what happens. Oh, there he is. Trying to jump. Oh, he's a nice one, guys. Nice fish. Nice fish. There you go, John. Folks, we put this fish back in the water, put it back in the net. Well, Mickey hooked the light up. I wanted you to see this fish. John and I just couldn't bring ourselves to leaving. It's about 5 o'clock. 
You know how it is in November. When it gets around 435, you lose all your lights. And we're catching these big smalls. I just couldn't bring myself to leave, so Mickey threw the light on the camera. This is gonna be our go-home fish, but I want to show you this fish. Absolute beauty. Tell you what, folks, look at that. That fish is not very long, but look at that belly. Compared to the size of my hand, and I've got big hands, look at how thick that stomach is. These fall smallmouth like this, whether you're in the Great Lakes, you're back in the west, Pacific Northwest, they all do the same thing when it gets cold. They start feeding for winter. John and I casted today, made 1,000 casts, caught a few small fish, decided to pull out the trolling technique in this 52 degree water. I tell you what, folks, it produced. If you're looking to catch a big smallmouth like this, get out there in the fall. When you don't think you can troll for them, you might be surprised. And if you happen to catch a big one like this, send it to my good friend John Bambasino at Pro Fish Art. He'll mount it up for you, and you'll have a beautiful treasure to look at for the rest of your life. All right, Johnny, please yeah. say we call it a day, buddy. We'll be better now, Seth. All right, man, I appreciate you coming out. Hey. Pretty fun technique, isn't it? Great trip. These <laughs> fish are absolutely incredible. Incredible. I've never seen smallmouth this thick. Awesome, awesome. All right, folks, I want to thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Let's get this For a list of today's gear and techniques, log on to axfishing.com and select AX Journals.